Today we have a 2003 Chevrolet 4x4 with a 6 liter. And this guy does a lot of towing and he wants to increase the performance of it without any major engine modifications. We've got a couple items that are just going to fill his bill. Get everything in the bed of that truck that we need, huh? Everything we need. All right, now the easiest way to get power out of any engine is to put more fuel and air into it. Now you can get more air into an engine by using a supercharger or a blower, but pretty expensive kits normally and of course require a lot of work. There is something that's free to you, and of course, that is cool air, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this cool air intake on by Volant. You know, it's made out of polyethylene, which means we're not going to transfer any of the engine heat underneath the hood into it, rather than stainless or aluminum. Easy to put in, looks good, going to match the underhood color. Now, the deal is when you want to isolate the air cleaner from any of that underhood temperature, think about it on a hot day, hood's closed, you get your air conditioner on, it gets pretty warm under the hood. And the air cleaner, of course, drawing some of that air in, you got a warm charge. It's very, very thin air. Okay, the cooler it is, the denser it is. So when the valve opens, when the intake valve opens, you get a lot more cylinder filling. You remember the old days in drag racing? You used to put dry ice. Yeah, you put ice on the intake manifold to chill that air, make it denser just before it passes. You can't do that. It's not real practical to do in the street. Use a box like this. It's easy to install. But the first thing we need to do, you need to take off this old air filter assembly. Ready to go to work? I am. With that piece off, you're ready to take the mass airflow sensor connector off. Little tip here, this little gray lock has to be slid up. You got to do that first, then you can reach in here and push in, and then you can pull the connector out. If you don't do that, you're going to try to pry the thing off, and you're going to ruin it. Then you'll have a real problem when you go to put it back together. Now the mass airflow sensor can come right out of there. All right, before you bolt in the box here from the Volant Cool Air Intake, what we have to do is put our mass airflow sensor and bolt it to it. Now, what you want to do is make sure that when you take this off the stock intake and put, the, put it on the new one, there's wires down inside there. Do not touch that. Don't hit, hit it with solvents. Don't try to wash it out. You'll destroy it. Now, you put your gasket. It's got a gasket that goes around. It comes in the kit. You go through these holes, and there's a ring that McBride's holding inside. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and screw these right into it. Along with the cold air kit, we get this uh, reusable air filter assembly. And these are nice. They're multi-layers of cotton gauze stretched over wire. They're very efficient, pass a lot of air. They'll trap the dirt because they have a light film of oil on them. And they're reusable. When they get dirty, you take it, you wash it from the inside out. When it dries, you re-oil it. I'll install this. We'll go ahead and tighten this up. Make sure you've got everything, by the way, nice and tight. Everything's sealed good. The idea is to keep all of the air going through the mass airflow sensor cool air going into the engine. We'll put the cover on this and we're ready to dyno it. What do you think? I was going to say, are you done yet so we can dyno this thing? Sure. 